Greetings, young scientist. Today, we're going to explore how the respiratory system and the circulatory systems work together. The circulatory system is a transport system that circulates or moves blood throughout the body. Blood is pumped out of the heart and circulates to the lungs. At the same time, oxygen-rich air is drawn into the body when you inhale. It then passes through the structures of the respiratory system, the nose and the mouth, and down the trachea, also known as the windpipe, and into the lungs. While in the lungs, the oxygen moves into tiny little sacs that help to move the oxygen into the blood vessels. This oxygen-rich blood then circulates out of the lungs and out into the body to go into all the cells, the trillions and trillions of cells, the cells that you have in your fingers, your toes, and in your nose. These cells use up the oxygen but it has a waste material that it wants to get rid of called carbon dioxide. This material is then gets back into the blood and transports from the cells back into the tiny little sacs in the lungs. Now the waste material, carbon dioxide, is out of the blood and in the lungs, and it leaves your body when you exhale. Now, as we can see in this animation, the oxygen-rich air is coming into the lungs from the trachea. The oxygen-rich air is represented by the blue air that you see here. No, the air is not truly blue. That air is coming into the lungs. The lungs exchange the oxygen, bringing it in for the carbon dioxide, pushing it out. The carbon dioxide is this green colored here as represented. The air is not truly green. And we blow it back out as we exhale. In with the good stuff, out with the waste material. In with what we need, oxygen. Out with what we don't need, carbon dioxide. In, out. Breathing is very important. Now, can you explain to somebody else how the circulatory system and the respiratory system work together to help us to be able to survive and thrive as human beings? Have a great day.